Hi, my name is Dr. Gert Walter from Medical Aesthetics in New England in Acton, Massachusetts. Um, today I'm going to show you how we do our HCG injection program for our weight loss. And I'm going to show you a better way to do shots because uh, there's a lot of fear out there for injections and the way I'm going to show you, this is like a mosquito bite or maybe less. Um, we use a very small needle. We don't do it the standard way injections are done and we've had many years of experience with this and our patients really seem to, to uh, like the way we do it. So uh, when we use our program, this is our kit. Our kit has in it all of the stuff you need to clean the skin, the rubbing alcohol. It has in there 40 or 21 needles. Now some other kits may be a little bit different, um, but it has individual needles for one shot each day. There's a sharps container. The sharps container is where you put those needles later on, the syringes, because you don't just want to throw them into your trash because if you do that, somebody's going to hurt themselves. Um, you can bring the container back into us or bring it to your doctor's office or wherever. Now, the, the, one of the big differences with the injections we do is we do them in the stomach. They're subcutaneous injections, they're not IM injections in the muscle. When you get a flu shot or a vaccine, a lot of the shots are up in the shoulder and the nurses will often do this. They do that for a specific reason because if it goes into the muscle, they're trying to figure out how deep your muscle is and people have various amounts of thickness of fat and skin in that area. So they have a longer needle, it goes deeper, the muscle hurts more. We're doing it right under the skin into the fat of the belly and I'll show you in a little bit how to do that. Now. Um, this is our kit here. This is the actual medication itself. It often comes frozen. Uh, you got to keep it in the refrigerator except when you're using it. It comes in its own bottle. The first time the bottle, little pl the metal thing comes off there, this is going to be your target, that rubber circle right in the middle there. The, the, the circle in the middle of the rubber. Now the bottle is dark so it's protected from the light and when you start getting close to the end of your, your medication here, you got to make sure your needle's in the liquid. So towards the last few days of the procedure, hold it up to a very bright light so that the, the needle part of the syringe goes in there and sometimes you even have to pull it back a little bit to make sure you're getting medication and not air. Um, when people get shots, there's a number of things that make the shots hurt. One is the rubbing alcohol I mentioned before to clean the skin. You got to let that dry. Now, usually when I'm showing people how to do this, the rubbing alcohol drives in 10, 15 seconds. But once you start getting good at this, you're going to wipe it. You're going to get everything ready. You're going to give yourself a shot. So just make sure after you get um, become accustomed to this that you just kind of dry the air, dry the rubbing alcohol off. It'll evaporate pretty quickly. But that makes it sting. Another thing that makes it sting is the acidity of the medication. Now, HCG is the same acidity as saline. So if you get an IV with saline in the hospital or wherever, um, you know that it really doesn't hurt the, the liquid flowing in. This also does not hurt. It's not an acidic or an alkaline substance. The, uh, another thing that can hurt is that when the needle itself goes in. What I suggest you do is think of that like a dart. Poke it through the skin. Don't sit there and kind of slowly push it in because that's just going to make it hurt more. And the last part is when you're actually injecting the medication in, the needle's already under the skin. If you squeeze the medicine in really fast, it's going to push those fat cells out of the way. Stretch them, make it hurt. So take three, four seconds, just slowly, slowly. It's not a lot of liquid, but you're going to put it in there and that's going to make it hurt a lot less. Now, I mentioned before that a lot of shots are given up in here or they're given in the thigh or in the, in the butt area to try to get into the muscle. Again, we're not doing that, we're doing it into the subcutaneous fat. If you've ever gone to the dentist, they kind of perfected this technique. And before they give you the injection in the mouth, which is a much more sensitive area than what we're doing, but still, they'll go like this, they'll flap your skin, because your lip, because what they're gonna do is they're distracting those pain nerves. So when they go up and give you the injection, it distracts those nerves and makes it less painful. We're going to do the same thing. You're going to have you tap your belly. When you're ready to do the injection, I'll show you in a few minutes on my, myself here, but you're going to just be tapping your belly, and then when you're ready to do it, you go one, two, three. You go in like a dart, and then you're going to do it for three or four more seconds, slowly inject, and then it's uh, you won't even feel that part at all. Usually there's not any bleeding afterwards. Sometimes there's a tiny spot like a period in the end of a sentence. Um, you don't need a band-aid or anything. People just don't bleed from these kind of injections. Kind of the same thing that the diabetics do. Um, this is a syringe here. This is a syringe in the kit. It comes marked up to 100. And we're going to do 200 units, which is 20, um, on the syringe, okay? Now, 
the syringe itself, for those of you who've never used them before, has a cap on the end. I think the cap is just to protect it, because sometimes if, the, if it didn't have the cap on it, if you put it in your purse or something, or uh, in a backpack, this piece may break off. Now, most syringes come with an air gap on the top. We're going to measure from that top of the black thing right there, the top of the plunger. There's a little air gap in the middle. So I'm going to squeeze the air out right now. See how that disappears? The reason for that is because if these are stored for a couple of years on a shelf or someplace, then if the black thing is touching the end of the, the cylinder here, then sometimes when you pull it back to put medications in, a little piece will break off and you can inject that into the person. Not such a good thing. So I'm going to show you how to get the air gap out of there. The flip side of that is you don't have to do what they do on TV and do this and get all the air out. A tiny spot of air in there injected under the skin is irrelevant. You're not going to get a stroke from that. It's not going to hurt you. So what I'm going to show you is when you put the medication in here, you're going to put the needle into the, into the medication. You're going to actually draw back to 40 or 50. See how the top of the plunger is at 50 right now? It's going to suck the medication in. I'll show you that in a couple minutes. And then when everything's stable, you're just going to push the excess medication back into the bottle. That's going to take the air with it and all the extra medication so you're going to get right to the 20 there. Okay, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Now I'm going to show you how to actually take the medication, put it in the syringe, and then I'll show you how to inject it. So this is a different bottle. This bottle is, uh, the one I've used before is an actual bottle of HCG, but that was a patient's and I didn't want to waste it. This is saline. This feels exactly the same. It feels like if you're getting an IV in the hospital. <coughs> there's no discomfort for the fluid going in. This is going to be in the refrigerator. When you do this, most people do this first thing in the morning. Uh, they get up, they urinate, they weigh themselves. That's the lightest weight they're going to be for the day. And then they go to the refrigerator, get this out. Um, open up a pack of rubbing alcohol, take out the rubbing alcohol, and just wipe off all the tomato germs. And then you're going to take the, the rubbing alcohol and also wipe off an area of your belly. This is the syringe here. Now I'm going to pull the cap off. The cap just gets thrown away. <coughs> you see that's a very thin needle. It's very short. It's an it's a insulin needle. And again, the air gap is in there. We're going to do 20. And originally we're going to go back to 40 or 50. Once all the medication's in there, push it back out to 20. And then we're going to take it out of the bottle, inject it into ourselves. This is a bottle. This is the syringe with the air gap in it, the way you're going to take it out of the package and take off all the caps. What I suggest is take the two and put your hands together like this so that you, you're not kind of wiggling around like this. It just gives more support that way. Aim for that circle right in the middle. You're going to put the, the syringe in. I'm a little bit off center. That's fine. And you can see it's not going to go anywhere. Now if you watch the numbers there, we're going to go back just arbitrarily to 40 or 50. And you can see the medication getting sucked in. Once all the vacuum is gone, you still have that air gap on the top and we're going to push any excess medication and air back in the bottle. You see how that air disappeared? We're going to go to 20. That right there is how much is going to get injected into the body. Okay? okay. All right, I'm going to show you how to do the injections. Um, again, the first thing to do is to open up some rubbing alcohol. You're going to clean off the uh, medication and you've already drawn it up in the syringe. Remember to wipe off your skin, keep the skin clean, and then you're going to take this, and, and I cleaned off this general area here. Remember the tapping. You're going to tap, and you just go, I'm three, I'm going to insert it. You're going to go in like a dart. One, two, three. So that's in. It's in under the skin now. It doesn't hurt at all. And then I'm going to keep tapping while I inject the rest of the medication, and that's going to also go over three seconds. Not really fast. You're going to go really slowly. So one two three medicines in the needle the syringe goes into the sharps container if there's a little spot of blood wipe it off then you're good to go for the day and the next day you just repeat the process until the diet's over this is dr gert walter from medical aesthetics in new england in acton massachusetts our phone number is 978-263-1406 and our website is www.medicalaestheticsne.com Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it and have a good day.